Prime Minister May, you inherited a situation you did not create. Yet, you had a choice. And by choosing for the hardest form of Brexit, you chose the most extreme interpretation of the referendum. Doing so, you encouraged all those on the continent as well as in the UK, from the fringes of the political landscape up to the benches of your own government, who have made grandstanding and threatening their brand of politics. On the one hand, we have those who call for making Britain the world champion of social and tax dumping, or even of starting a war with Spain. On the other hand, we have those who say we should punish the United Kingdom. Have the last 70 years not told them anything. But Mrs. May, by your own choice, you dug yourself a hole of contradictions. How can you have a hard Brexit without having a hard border in Ireland? How can you, to use your own words, have the freest possible trade in goods and services between Britain and the EU, while you take the UK out of the single market, which allows precisely that? But above all, how can you reconcile a hard Brexit with your own stated desire of a more united UK and your claim to represent every person in the United Kingdom, including the large number of people, especially the young generation who voted in favour of remaining in the European Union. Resolving those contradictions so as to minimise damage to our citizens must be the objective of the negotiations to come. And if we want common sense and the general interest to prevail, we must ignore those who shout and posture. And I agree with you, Mrs May, when you say you want to build a stronger, fairer, better Britain. Achieving stronger, fairer and better societies is a goal that many share in this chamber. Delivering this requires us to face the Trumps and the Putins of this world, to tackle climate change, to fight terrorism and organised crime, to find common responses to the global migration challenge, to curb corporate power. And who can believe? Who seriously can believe when EU citizens all together represent 7% of the global population on 2% of the land that any, I say any, of our member states, including the largest, can, is better equipped to face these challenges on its own? Mrs May, like it or not, we're in this together. Taking back control, being recognised as global players, requires all Europeans, including Britons, to act together. There's no such thing as absolute sovereignty. In the 21st century, we can only reconquer sovereignty for democracies by sharing it. Mrs May, you want to build a Britain your children and grandchildren are proud to call home. Let me remind you that as we speak, many of your own citizens are proud to call not just Britain, but Europe home. Let us not let them down. Thank you very much.